We sometimes think the cosmologists, because they think about billions of years, are somehow serene and relaxed about short-term problems. But uh, I worry as much as anyone about what's going to happen uh, next year, next week or tomorrow. And I think actually that being a cosmologist gives one a special perspective on these issues because although most educated people are aware of the billions of years of the past leading from simple life on Earth to humanity, they tend to think that we humans are in some sense the culmination. Whereas one thing which we learn from astronomy and cosmology is that the time lying ahead is at least as long as the time that's elapsed up till now. The universe may go on forever, but even our Earth and Sun is less than halfway through its life. Even in the cosmic perspective of billions of years, this century is very special. And let me explain that by a sort of cosmic vignette. Suppose you were an alien who'd been watching the Earth for its entire four and a half billion year history. Over most of that time, change would have been very slow. The continents would have gradually shifted, Species would have formed, evolved, and become extinct. Ice ages came and went. But then things started to change more rapidly. About 10,000 years ago, vegetation started to change because of human agriculture. But then change speeded up immensely. Within just 50 or 100 years, one hundredth of one millionth of the lifetime of the Earth. The carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere started to rise enormously fast. The Earth became a source of radio signals, the integrated effect of all TVs, radars, mobile phones and the rest. And something else remarkable happened. For the very first time, projectiles lifted from the Earth's surface, went into orbit around it, some even went to the Moon and the planets. If the aliens had been watching this, they'd have seen something remarkable happening in this tiny stretch of time. So what's going to happen in the next century? If the aliens keep watching, what will they see? Will this sudden spasm, less than halfway through the Earth's life, be followed by silence? Or will it lead to some new stable situation? And will some of these projectiles leaving the Earth eventually spawn new oases of life elsewhere? So that's the challenge for us. So these are the options which we can't predict. And these aliens, if they understood astronomy, could have predicted that the Earth was going to die in a few billion years when the sun flared up and engulfed the inner planets and vaporized life on Earth. But could they have predicted this sudden spasm happening less than halfway through its life with runaway speed? And I think if you look at things that way, you realize that what we do here on Earth has an impact that will resonate not just through the life of our children or grandchildren, but into the far future here on Earth and perhaps far beyond, because this is a crucial century, even in the perspective of billions of years that cosmologists talk about. I think if people are aware that if we were to uh, destroy our civilization, it would uh, foreclose potentialities of even a post-human era far beyond the Earth as well as on it, then that gives an extra motive for concern. We are the stewards of this planet at a special period.